Right then, I found the cemetery at Croston. It's massive, look. What I'm going to have to do, I'm going to walk right down the bottom because everything's, look, they're all facing that way, apart from one or two around the edges here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a little video as I'm going along. I've just crossed over a little bridge after going through the old school across a river. It's definitely worth coming here to follow the heritage trail for you, Zara. Um, so what I'm doing now, I'm just doing... Look at that big silo there. I'm just going to walk right the way to the end. There's the church. I've already forgotten its name. Oh, look, I can see a Critchley. There are Critchleys. Now, if I do happen to spot one, I'm going to do it. Adam Mary, wife of Adam Critchley, who died April the 22nd, 1884, age 58. Day after day, we say saw her fade and gently sink away. Yet in our hearts, we often prayed that she might longer stay. Also the above Adam Critchley who died in 1912 age 83 and William Smith and Jane daughter of the above who died in 1908 and William Smith he was 83 no he was 62 and he died in 1883 so there's a Critchley there and there are Critchleys that married the house so that could be very very significant that grave that's why I've done that then so basically we're going along but I'm, I'm cheating really because I'm looking around. But um, yeah look at that, that's a really good picture of the church isn't it? This is where your ancestors lived Zara. And Faye and Ullen and Kerr and Pete. <coughs> and the dead people like, well Pete's dead as well but his dad. His grandfather, his grandfather was the one that come from here. God, there's enough for me to keep me busy. I've got to start down the bottom there because look, they're all facing this way. And they're big as well, aren't they? Sorry, you'd love it here. Look, there's a Rigby there, Ellen Rigby. Eleanor Rigby. Ellen Rigby. She died in 1882, age 57, and James Rigby. And another James Rigby. Anne, wife of James Rigby. And a Robert, their son. And Jane, their daughter. So there's a lot of Rigby's there. So Rigby's. I should be doing photographs on the way back. I'll do the video going up. Which might seem a bit boring, but it's still actually history. Because we're probably surrounded by lots and lots of your ancestors here, Zara. This is the old part, by the way. There's a new bit over there. So I, I might not have time to do all this today. I've just got to check the time. The time is... Of course, I can never see the time. We don't we'll worry about it. I haven't got a clue what the time. It could be seven o'clock. I really don't know. But all I've got to do is follow round, apparently, through the through the village, keep walking round, and I'll end up back where I started. Oh, wait a minute, I've just found a Dickinson. I'll just do this one on, vid on video a minute. Um, in loving memory of Lance Corporal Daniel Dickinson, 4th Light something regiment, Lancashire it could be, who died of wounds received in France April 7th, 1917, aged 22. Also Elizabeth, mother of the above, who died March 10th, 1942, aged 79. So that's the Lance Corporal Daniel Dickinson. So he was born at the, in the 1890s. Oh, 
Oh look, there's a Thomas Hyam here. I'll just do this one as well. Thomas Hyam, who died March the 16th, 1935, aged 74. Also Margaret, his wife, who died August the 30th, 1914, aged 53. Robert, their son, who died 1894, aged 3. And Leslie, their grandson, who also died in infancy. There's another Rigby there, Robert and Thomas. God, this, this place is just... Um, Oh, minefield for you, sir. Look, there's another John Hyam here. He died the 19th of July, 1894, aged 64. And Margaret, wife of the above, who died March the 1st, 1909, aged 73. Because I don't know if these are related or not. Just need to take pictures. That's one thing you can't do. You can't capture the wild garlic. It's very, very potent at the moment. You can see it growing here of the bluebells at the bottom of the cemetery. Look. This wild garlic.